Hey, bonjour YouTube. Today we are with Stephanie. Stephanie is an interior designer and she's gonna help us design our work environment to make us more productive. You know this channel is all about time management and productivity and interior designing your physical space has a lot to do with it. So if you're interested in all these topics about time management and productivity, you definitely need to subscribe to this channel for more content every single week. Hey, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy professionals be more productive and get back in control of their own time. Hi, I'm Stephanie, I'm an interior designer and I help people be more productive with their space. So, Stephanie, what are we going to talk about today? Okay, we're actually going to talk about five things that will make your space help you be more productive. Um, the first one is lighting. Lighting is really huge in everything regarding spaces because it actually affects your mood, your productivity, your eyes. So basically what the ideal is, and I know we don't always get it, is to have natural light. Um, natural light helps our body keep with the cycles. Um, when we don't have it in an office, we usually have those ugly fluorescent tubes. Mm -hmm. um, so what I always tell people is to try to offset that with task lighting, like your typical desk light, mm -hmm. and have it be a warm color. Warm is what we usually have at home, like okay. the more yellowish colors. Um, and nowadays there's actually really cool LED lights mm -hmm. that can go from cooler colors to warmer colors to help your eyes. It's very personal. Okay, so you on your computer, you mm -hmm. need to set it up on warm colors. Yes. What's the difference between uh, like lighting like this that is not natural light mm -hmm. compared to natural light to your body? Your body actually obviously feels better with natural light. Your eyes are mm -hmm. used to natural lights. So when you don't have them, I don't know if uh, some people experience like terrible headaches and you're just tired and your eyes hurt. Um, so we try to, if we don't have natural light, to replicate it, and that's by mixing it. Um, when you're outside and it's super sunny out, you feel better, you mm -hmm. feel more energized. So that's what we're trying to do okay. when we work. So the natural light actually impacts the circadian cycle, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh, your, your daily cycle. If you don't remember what circadian cycle is, you can look at this video where we talk about how to fight jet lag. So there is a sequence on it that, that, where we talk about that. Okay. So <laughs> you didn't know that surprise. Yes, So you good. definitely need to check it out. But after the video, because this, what we're going to talk about is really important. The second one is organization. I'm pretty sure you talk about this a lot mm -hmm. with your people. Um, and this is actually how physical things can, can help you organize. Um, so basically I tell my clients, you are not supposed to be super minimalist because we all work at different places. I'm a creative, so you're never going to see my desk completely empty and white. I always have samples and pictures and stuff like that, but you also you do need a system and you do need a limit. So what I actually tie to some productivity systems is that you do need an in-basket but that needs to be taken care of very regularly. Okay. So if you have a few baskets and try to keep it like nice colors, relaxed mm -hmm. colors instead of like really strong stuff. What are relaxed colors? Like it can be white, it can be gray, it can be a nice shade of blue. Mm -hmm. Don't do red, orange, because that obviously that's color theory, but it just makes you anxious and okay. we don't want to be anxious. Um, so that's one thing and then half the things like you need to figure out what you do and have the things that you use every day on top mm -hmm. the rest needs to go away so everything that you use every day should be within reach yes because because using, using them every day that makes you more mm -hmm. productive to not having to look inside a drawer yes. to use something every day uh, and on the opposite side, I'm just rephrasing just yep. to make sure mm -hmm. we all understand. And everything that you're not using every day, maybe every week or every month, should be a little bit further from you, correct? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, and you're not supposed to have like 25 group pens. That's just, that you're not adding up. Mm -hmm. um, then afterwards at the end, we are talking about something else that can add on to your desk experience. But yeah, it should be as little as possible, but not something that you have to stand up every five minutes to use and then put back. 
Okay, and uh, on top of this, what we can add is one tip that was shared with Melissa in another video on minimalism and productivity. So minimalism is not necessary for everyone, but there are some tips that are always good. You can check out this video right here. It's uh, on decluttering on a daily basis your environment, and she advised us to do it 20 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do it 10 minutes or five minutes a day, but just to make it consistent as, as part of your habits, just to make sure that you sustain a certain level of organization, right? The next thing, um, which is seemingly simple, but it makes a huge difference, and it is plants. I know we're seeing more and more plants go into office spaces, and that is for a reason. Um, even like Google, who started with this whole thing, they spend millions and millions of dollars knowing how to make spaces work for their people and they have found that plants having plants near being able to look at something green again ties back to our nature as human beings and it's huge it just makes all the difference in the world i'm not sure i'm gonna keep this part in the video mm -hmm. because i don't want my wife to have a look at it because she's all about plants and our <laughs> living room starts to look like a jungle because she loves yes. she loves plants now I'm kidding of course if this is something that is proven by, by science mm -hmm. and studies uh, if you like plants uh, then they can also help you uh, set an environment to make you more productive so it's a win-win yeah it's obviously depending on your space if you work at a cubicle you really can bring up like huge plants, mm -hmm. uh, but just little things help us. Like they're little hacks mm -hmm. where we can hack our systems and, and do that. Um, some people tell me, Steph, I can't keep a plant alive. Um, and actually it's less effective, but you can use fake plants too because they still oh. kid your system. They're not good for the oxygen levels, mm -hmm. which is because another, they don't do anything. another subject, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. but it, it's still, it, there's still good ones that can hack your system. It creates harmony with also the colors yeah. you were talking about earlier, yes. white, mm -hmm. gray, uh, like modern type. Yes, of, uh, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. And then that, that green really helps. Then we go after a very important subject. It's uh, more scientific too, and it is ergonomics. The way you seat your position, everything makes all the difference in the world. Um, sadly for us, good chairs are very expensive, mm -hmm. uh, but they are a very good investment. It's one of the things that for me, if I'm designing a space, is a non-negotiable. And it needs to go all the way up from the CEO to whoever is new, like the new intern, let's say, because it's so important. Okay. Because if your back hurts, I think it's happened to all of us. If your back hurts, you're not gonna work. You're just thinking about the pain in your back. Yeah. Or if you spend four hours, like I do, drawing plans, then all of a sudden, if I don't have the right support system, I'll just, I can't go back. Yeah. So that is really big. This is yeah. not about, I'm oh, sorry, about aesthetics, about anything other than just like being comfortable and being able to work and not have a squeaky chair that's just like So having the right posture will allow you to uh, reduce how you tap into your energy levels and it can sustain more your energy on the long run, I understand? Yes, and um, you can focus better, obviously, if you're more comfortable. Okay, and uh, maybe a standing desk sometimes can be, yes. can be also a good option because Sitting is the new smoking, right? Uh, so if you're sitting eight hours in a row, mm -hmm. not in a row because you need to take breaks, remember? Uh, um, if you uh, sit for eight hours mm -hmm. during your day, then better invest on, on a good chair. The same yes. way you need to invest on a good mattress because you sleep hopefully seven to eight hours a night. So yeah. Yeah, investment. it's a good investment. We still do, talking about the standing part, some people, you can just go and buy maybe a, a desk um, but you can do a little bar mm -hmm. next to the space where you can just prop in your laptop and work for a little. That helps a lot too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least um, is personalization. I mean, we spend more time in our offices than we do at home. So I'm not saying fill it with like pictures of you and your dog and your kids and everything, but do bring things that make you happy. Even if it's a mug that says your name or a nice vase with flowers or whatever. This is very personal. It depends on what you like, but it's making it yours, making it comfortable. One of the things I'm seeing with people that it's actually lowering their productivity is uh, shared workspaces, mm -hmm. where you go and you sit down and you work and then you leave. And then the next day you have to go back and sit and it's so impersonal 
people are actually finding it really hard to focus. Yeah. It's like being in a new house, or in a new hotel. You get there and the first night you're kind of like not there. So this is really big and it yeah, helps need, a lot. You need to get in your flow, I understand. I, I, I'm, when I was working in consulting and, uh, and going from client to client, mm -hmm. Uh, I was always in a different spot like sometimes like just sitting on a box and like, on my computer and uh, Working on the plane and always changing environment mm -hmm. makes uh, makes me not feel like at home And if you have a way to make your working environment feels like home I understand that it makes you more yes productive. yes okay. and of course you have those hats because nowadays we all work everywhere So yeah, bring your mug bring your little something I have uh, for myself, I, I'm gold fox interior, so I have a little fox yeah. that I bring everywhere. Okay. It's like a little big eraser. It's nothing. It's super cheap from Target, but I take it everywhere and it brings me back to me. So those little things help. If you have a space in your office, the more you can do, the better. Mm -hmm. And it serves also ver like various purposes, organization, you can tie it. But yeah, do make it personal. It's good. I, there's, it's, there's something, there's a reason why we get, we feel at home and at home and not in the office where we actually spend more time. Okay, I have a question for you guys. What is the one thing that makes you feel like home when you're at work? So I understand for you it's the foxy thing? Yes, yeah? my fox, yes. Uh, I, I feel like having one picture of my family is, is something that is important. I feel like they are, they are always with me. Uh, I have also my family that makes these calendars with the pictures uh, with the pictures from all the kids in the family mm -hmm. and I, I like having it like close by but besides that I think besides pictures I, I don't have anything what is what is the one thing for you that you always bring into your workspace that makes you feel like home let us know in the comments are you ready for the tete-a-tete -tete? yes yes Let's do it you guys know it you know what it is so today we are at BBD as you can see here business by design by James Wedmore it's a great 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 program and BBD live is a conference within that program and that's that's how yes. we met with Stephanie and so I forgot my beret uh, I didn't know that we would do any interview so I forgot it a little bit less Frenchness for this interview but are you ready yes I'm okay. ready let's do it so you know you know quick fire yes dogs or cats cats more money or more sleep more sleep definitely <laughs> yes sweet or salty salty mornings or night night favorite youtube channel i like buzzfeed okay yeah <laughs> how many cups of coffee a day four four yes uh, i know i think you beat me <laughs> favorite cheese um, Swiss cheese. White wine or red wine? Red wine all the way. All the way? Yeah. <laughs> You're from... Uh, I'm from you? Colombia. I live in Argentina and I'm obsessed with my back. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I, I knew you were living in Argentina. That's right. <laughs> Very famous for wine. Most famous French person that comes to mind? Oh, Brigitte Bardot. Oh, <laughs> classic. How many hours of sleep do you get each night? Seven. Say something in French. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Stereotype about French people. Um, they bring baguettes under their arms. Yeah, of course. And we have a moustache. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the berry today. What's the book currently on your nightstand? Um, go wash your face. Oh. Do you recommend it? Yes, it's a really good book. Okay. Highly recommend it. We're going to add it right here. Uh, what's your mantra or phrase you live by? Everything is possible. All about possibilities. Yes. What's your kryptonite? Um, I'm sorry. Fear. Hmm. Yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve? I don't like when people are like naysayers and they don't see like the good in things, like pessimistic. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. I, thank you. I thank you very much for adding so much value to my YouTube channel, like bringing your knowledge. Uh, so, how can people find you? Okay, um, in Instagram, my handle is um, goldfox under slash interiors, and then um, everything is on my website, goldfoxinteriors.com. Of course, the fox. <laughs> yes, the fox. <laughs> there is no support here. Okay, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You I hope much you guys you. enjoyed uh, this conversation as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And au revoir. <laughs>